So I had an idea for a song. And the reason why I'm picking this song out of my like collection of 400 little song nuggets is uh, this song is pretty recent, and I think it can go in an interesting direction. So I got this idea while I was listening to, uh, what was it, Always, Always, Always On, I think, by uh, Death From Above, 1979. Now keep in mind, remember I was saying earlier that like all music is derived from other music. There's no music that's actually truly original. Um, so I got the idea uh, that was the same principle of that. So like people are always hooked into the internet and all that sort of stuff. And that was what the song was about. And I was like, you know, you can write a song that's different than that, and it would still sound really cool. So what I what I decided was I was I thought of I thought of the comparison in a sense uh, to a fly, a fly who's uh who's caught in the web, a caught in the net of uh, of social media and yada 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 and caring too much about what people think and yada 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 yada, yada. right that that whole com complaint rant argument right. Um, that like yeah the boomer argument basically uh <laughs> um so yeah I, I was thinking about making a song like that and uh writing 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 some lyrics for it and uh but i'm gonna do that process and i was gonna instead of trying to like sort out that idea then i decided i'm gonna uh just whoops i'm gonna write it as i go and i guess show you guys like well, show you show the world what my process is for how I do things. Now, keep in mind, everybody's got their own process, you know, and, and, and you know, what works for me might not work for you. But at the same time, I figure if you watch enough people show you their process for writing a song, you'll be able to figure out, you know, what you want your process to writing a song to be. Um, I know that I've done that. I watched my little brother and I've watched a couple other people writing songs and I was like, okay, so this is how I really want to do this. Cause if I'm, yeah. Cause if I do it the way that my little brother does it, where it's like, I make a riff and then I put lyrics over top of it and I just kind of force them in. It doesn't sound very good to me, but for, uh, well, it, I don't, I don't, it doesn't turn out very good for me. Jacob, that man's a genius, uh, so he can uh, he can make sure pretty much anything happens. So, so but for me, I kind of got got to do it both at the same time, and I got to get a melody first. So I think a song about the fly called the fly. All right, I could start out with that um, that old wives' tale or whatever it was. Step into my office, said the spider to the fly. And I could probably just, uh, you know, have that as like your your beginning bit. You know how you do the rap song, like have a little like, and then start. <laughs> Actually, the song. Um, let's see. So I'm thinking about doing. So it'll be. Step into my office, said the spider to the fly, and then, I think this song. Well, for me, when I think of this song, I think of it as kind of a. A mourning the plight of our generation, right? That'd be so sad and and <laughs> I I realize talking about this sort of stuff kind of just is a little bit weird now because you're like you think all this stuff in your head and you show them a finished product and it's like oh yeah this makes sense and then you know when you're halfway through the process you're like this this sounds kind of stupid and pretentious at this point. Well, let's just hope it sounds better at, at the end, right? So this is this is the stupid and pretentious part. We'll we'll get through it to have a, a mediocre product. How about that? Um, so so I think the song would be They're caught in a web, so another web full of lies. No one can hear me say goodbye. That sounds like a what is it? That sounds like a, uh, what is that, one of the guys, the guys that did Devil, I forget what that band is now, I don't know why, they're sh absolutely huge, uh, goodness, who is these people?
Shine Down. Sounds like a Shine Down song. Yeah. Anyway. We're caught in a web, a web of lies. Can you hear me say goodbye? Uh. Caught in a web, a web of lies. No one can hear. Yeah, there we go. Hear me say goodbye. So we'll, we'll say we'll do it in the style of Shine Down, since this is, keep in mind, whenever you make a song, there's something you're basing it off of, whether you realize it or not. It's a song you've heard, most likely. And if you haven't heard that song, then you're making it up, and you're even more likely <laughs> to sound like somebody else. So I, I, we'll do it in the style of Shine Down. We'll, we'll, we'll spice it up, though. We'll mix in quite a little bit of other stuff, uh, a lot of other influences to, to be able to make it not sound like I'm just writing a Shine Down song for them. Uh, so it's called in a web, a web full of light. Can't even hear me say goodbye. And something, 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 something. Da, 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 da. That could be really cool. Uh, let me get this tuned properly. So I'm going to be tuning down to D because I want to. That's why. So what I usually would do right now is break up my five string, but <clears throat> my five string has active pickups and I don't want to have to deal with that right now. So caught in a well, web full of lies, but I'm here to say goodbye. Da, na, 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 that rhythm. <laughs> That's got a, quite a bit of Rage Against the Machine in there. Um, so I'm playing in the key of D. Oh, and by the way, if you if you're watching this right, and you're like, oh no, I'm good, uh, and you're and and you're like, I want to steal this song. It sounds like a great idea. I want to make this myself, right? Feel free to. Just whenever you do it, you know, like, uh, y y feel free to use the same concept, but, like, take different influences, you know. Uh, for me, I'm going to be taking influences from Shine Down, and it sounds like Raging Against the Machine, at least for this portion. Like, write, write your own riffs, write your own lyrics, write your own melodies. Because the, the concept, right, I don't own. I own the expression of the concept, right? So when I put this out to the Internet as a song that I'm writing for myself, right? That's my intellectual property. But at the same time, like, if I'm showing you my process, right? And you're like, I want to make a song that's kind of similar, but kind of different. Feel free to, like, you know, make your own version of the song, right? So, like, instead of being, like, caught in a web, a web of lies, and a kiss, say goodbye, you can be like, Caught, yeah. Caught in the web. Whoops, sorry. Got in the web. And I can't get out. You could do like some like creepy song like that too. You could do, do you could do a whole bunch of stuff with this. So, uh, yeah, just whenever, if you if you do want to steal this idea for the song, just do it in your own way, and that's perfectly cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I just figured I'd bring that up, just in case. So, back to the song. So it's, caught in a web, a web of lies, no one can hear me say goodbye. 
Uh, should I say that to someone? No, no, no. So the, so I am the fly. That's that's what it's going to be at the end. So no one can hear me say goodbye. That's my that's my that's my working lyric. Keep in mind, a lot of the lyrics when you first write them sound not not good. <laughs> um, it takes quite a few drafts to be able to get your uh, to be able to get the music to sound like oh yeah this is coherent got in a way but at the same time right so it's like the idea is to uh, keep your keep your thought process running right so that you know you can still make the rest of the song Caught in a web, a web full of lies. No one can hear me say. Say. Uh, no one cares. Maybe that could work. No one cares to say. Mm. You can flex with sorry. I'm sorry. No one cares to apologize. I'm caught in a web, a web full of lies. No one cares to even apologize. That's actually pretty decent. I'm caught in a web, a web full of lies. No one cares to even apologize. And now I am stuck, stuck on the web. Stuck, stuck. It's all around me, and I can't get out. I'm a fly. I'm a fly. That'll be great, actually. Now I am stuck. Now I am stuck. Can't get it out. All alone on the fly. Oh. Now I am stuck. It's all around me, and it's crushing me. I'm the fly. Uh, I'm stuck. It's all around me, and it's crushing me. Yeah, that's dramatic enough for this. <laughs> and it's crushing me. It's crushing me. Oh, I'm eating a lot. And now I am stuck. It's all around me, and it's seeding me alive. I'm the fly. <laughs> now I am stuck. It's all around me. It's eating me alive. In this world, I'm a fly. Nah. It's eating me alive. I love that. Maybe I can put that in the first bit, right? Now I am uh, a web full of lies. It's all around me. It's seeding me alive. Okay. I'm caught, caught in a web, uh, caught in the web, uh, caught in. I'm caught in the web, a web of lies. It's all around me and it's seeing me alive. Now I'm stuck, it's all around me. I'm the fly.
Caught in the web, a web of lies. See, because it takes a little bit of workshopping to be able to get uh, get this chorus right. But we can move on with this. And we can go back to that. So, caught in the web, a web of lies. all around me and it's eating me alive. Now I am stuck. It's all in this overwhelming no okay eating me alive i am overwhelmed by information maybe by information information I'm caught in the web, a life of life. It's all around me and it's eating me alive. I'm overwhelmed by information. I'm the fly. Yeah, that'll work for now, any. We gotta move on. So we're gonna move on to this. This will be the chorus, right? So that'll be the chorus because it's a nice, big, loud. Basically, it's your thesis statement of of your song, right? If you're if you're if you're you know listening to this song, this is, oops. So, uh, oops. Ah. So, um, yeah. So the idea, right, is it'll be the chorus is your basically a thesis statement of your of your song, right? Um, and then the verses are kind of what brings it into place. And that's actually that's my concept. That's how I think about it, right? So the cor chorus is like my thesis statement, and then like my my verses are in a sense my like supporting arguments, and they can be like something personal, right? Um, or they can be like logical or they can be like, you know, rational or anything. Right. So like you could be like, oh yes, this is a personal experience. So this song could be like, I, yeah, I could do the chorus as like caught in the web, web full of lies. It's all around me. It's seeding me in life. I'm overwhelmed by information. I'm the fly. Um, I should probably make more reference to that, actually. So I'm overwhelmed. No, no, no. Stuck. Waiting to die, maybe. Yeah, that's about right. Because that'd be a more accurate to the uh, the uh, the analogy that I'm trying to go with. So really, when you start out, you're making a really stupid and simple analogy, and you got to make it sound in some way profound. <laughs> and you know, it's it's hard to do, especially off the first draft. But we'll see what we can get. Well, I swear this is the last time that I'm going to be starting out trying to figure out how this works. So, oh, new viewer. Hello. Um, I am doing, uh, basically I'm writing, I'm writing music. That is, that is the goal of this stream. Right now, um, I'm writing a song called The Fly. Uh, it's about a person who uses social media too much. This is a, something I randomly thought of a couple days ago. I was like, well, I need something that's recent and fresh in my memory to write for, a song for. And um, I just kind of wanted to show off, in a sense, the process uh, or my process of how how I make music. And so, uh, if if you're if you if you have any questions, feel free. I am I am trying to interact with 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 the people in the chat and everything like that. So um, feel free to feel feel free to ask me any questions that you'd like. Um, but yeah, that's the that's the whole point of this this stream here. So that yeah, just to give you an idea. So uh, right now, I just finished the chorus, 
And it goes, I'm caught in the web, a web for life. It's all around me and it's eating me alive. I am stuck. And this is the one that I have trouble with. I am stuck, waiting to die. I'm a fly. would have my five string out right now but right now i just had to tune down so that means it's gonna be harder to do eh, it'll be fine but right now i'm just going into the first verse and i'm going to be trying to figure out how to explain the analogy uh in a way that it makes sense so um first first verse right so uh So first verse, first verse would be, um, there's a reason why I, I like writing songs on the bass, and the reason why I like writing songs on the bass is exclusively because, well, you can kind of feel your way out quite a bit better than you can when you're playing on a keyboard, um, and it also, you, you get a feel for the, like, the tone and the timbre of the song that's that you're already going to be playing well you being me i get it i get a feel for how the song's going to sound uh when i'm playing it and this this way i can be like okay this is this is going to sound like this to me so i can be like actually no. that would probably be the way to do it so intonation in a second here but it's good so you, I want it to be simple 